Just to get so much joy. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, how are we? It's kind of becoming my catchphrase. Ray, how'd we sleep last night? Right. Good. What time is it? I don't know, like eight? Seven. October 1st is the day. Opening day of antelope season here where we're at. And uh, we are gonna go out and try to kill a couple antelope. What's up, pup? Oh, he's camera shy. He doesn't like being the camera. How's it going, guys? Good morning. I'm not morning. camera shy, Casey. Adam likes the camera. <laughs> the camera really likes Adam. <laughs> it's more important. He's eating his oatmeal, right? Just like the last time you saw him on this channel. <laughs> only, only difference is Eric's not with him eating it. Baby birdieing it for him. <laughs> is today the day, Dana? Yeah. Okay, I like it. What's the plan? We're going to roll out of here, go to an another spot? Yes. Look for uh, the two biggest antelope in Wyoming for the ladies, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Women and children first today. I'm going to have some uh, mountain ops, and we're going to get on the road. You excited? Uh-huh. Uh, is that the downward dog, Cal? It's important this time of year, Case. Cal knows what's up, man. Yoga's where it's at. You guys might laugh about it, but I'm telling you, when you get older, to me, it's about mobility. It is the only thing that has ever helped packing out multiple elk on your back. Welcome to my little section of the video. It's October 1st. I was supposed to, or I should say I was going to, do my brother a favor and, and go glass for his deer hunt this morning, but my neighbors were extremely loud last night. I didn't get much sleep, so let's just say I enjoyed a morning of just sleeping in, which felt great. I've already hit the gym, and now I'm drinking my Mountain Ops uh, post-workout shake. This is a protein shake with the Magnum whey protein, one banana, almond milk, and a scoop of peanut butter powder. Pretty much uh, my treat in the morning, every morning after I work out. Look what we got out here. My buddy Nolan is coming over to check out the bull. He wanted to come see it in person. Uh, I had a few people ask me if, if they can come take a look. I just haven't been in town. We've been in Idaho and been on the mountain hunting uh, for Walker's Buck. So, no one's going to come take a look. He's been in Montana guiding elk hunts. He's back home now and he wants to come see this sucker in person. The number one question I get asked between uh, of the fire bull and now this guy is what does he score? I did score this when I got home. Score is just kind of fun for reference. Growing up uh, being... You know, I always have been fascinated with antlers. You guys know if you watch my stuff, I shed hunt. It's not been the most important thing whatsoever, but scoring antlers is kind of fun. The funny thing is, I would have shot a spike. I literally just wanted to fill my tag, ended up shooting a giant, which is icing on the cake. So when Nolan gets here, he's gonna put a tape measure to it and see what it scores. The tape measure's out. We might give him a quick tape just to see what's up. Nolan's been, like I said, Nolan's been in Montana guiding elk hunts. I haven't seen anything like this up there. Not yet, huh? No. <laughs> not quite. For the extremely, record, Nolan is not an official, unofficial. not official. We're just going to mess around and see what we come up with. Seven and two. Six and six eights. Got everything except the width. We're just going to tally them up. Guys, we are, uh, this is antelope. <laughs> yeah, lots of antelope everywhere. We found one that looks, we've seen a few that were nice, but this one looks really nice. Rayleigh really just keeps telling me, I don't, I just want one with real big horns. I'm like, okay, now I know what you're looking for. Ammo's lightweight. Do you want these shooting sticks? Do you want your dad's? I mean, what I'll probably do, do is if she can, I'll pack it down and brown it. If it works on the top of the hill, that'd be your number one choice. If not, it might be a kneeling. And if not, your sticks, sticks are fine. Okay.
that, sweetie. Woo! Sweet. Well, shall we? Good job! Woo. Thanks! Do you want me to take my pack off? We're gonna start it off. Okay, so we're gonna get him or do we haul him out? Yeah. Oh. Is that three? Yeah. Oh, that was like dirty. Yeah. That other one was good too. That, yeah. just. Yes, that was a short jump. Yay, Dad. <laughs> how's, that, how's that feel? Good. Okay. Try to get slow, that hip slow on the hips. Yes, yes <laughs> this is great. Jada, you stunned. All up in the back of that flatbed. Yeah! yeah. That meat's gonna taste good. Seven and two, six and six eighths. Got everything except the width, we're just gonna tally them up. Nolan scoring system scores them at 381 and some change. Regardless, the thing's just dang sweet. He's a little bit broke too. Up on the front and a little chip on the third, but other than that, I think it's perfect. Since we had Nolan over here, we had to do it. The fire bowl and the new bowl meet for the first time. This is a replica set, by the way. Pretty crazy how similar they are. Main beams, close. Royals, close. Fits, close. Fireball takes the cake on the fronts. And I've always said this, some of the biggest bowls that score the highest are the big under bowls. So their first, their seconds, and thirds. All the views. It's funny trying to line this thing up. The fireball, his rack is so crooked. It was hard to line them up straight. Here's the five side of the fireball. Some character points there. Big third or fourth, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of missing his third. This is what surprised me from this angle. This bull looks way bigger. But the fireball does score higher. And that's even with being a five by six frame. He scores more like 395. But uh, I thought I'd show that. To you guys, it's kind of cool having them together. Which one would you guys shoot? Are you more into the extras or are you more into a typical frame? It'd be pretty tough if they were standing side by side, wouldn't it? You want to go kill that one? Yeah. For sure? Which ones are you looking at? Check out so I've just lost one, still on a walk through the layout. Nice bug. Alright, so I found a bug. It's really nice. It has really big horns. She's natural like this. <laughs> but it's walking enough to ask her to talk. He's just hanging out. I'll just take me okay. and Logan. I think the most important thing with kids is, uh, they, you know, it's a little competition, I guess, but I always tell Grayley, if oh, it gets I mean, you excited, if it gets you excited, that's the one you should go after. So she got really excited when we saw this antelope. So we're gonna go try to put a stock on it. Good shot. Okay. I was shaking I so know, hard. That's the excitement of it. Go ahead and open your bolt up there. Take a round out. They're all there hugging it out. That is awesome. <laughs> you are always so clutch under pressure. Good job, babe. I got started crying when I couldn't see out of the scope. I know. That's when you just take a big breath. Congratulations. You that was outstanding. What do you tell Casey? That's Thank you so much. Folks. Great huge, huge test of your patience there. He yeah. Wouldn't, just wouldn't quite cooperate. Yeah. I, I'll tell you this, as much as you were shaking, I was probably shaking a little more. <laughs> it's probably worse being your dad yeah. right there. <laughs> How cool is that, Bray? I was like holding it and then I would like shake somewhere and I couldn't see it anymore. You did great. You waited just the perfect time, brought it by, you stopped. I get excited when I hunt. Hunting with your kids is uh, <laughs> it's next level. That's his head up.
getting up. He's getting up. Phantom buck, if that happens. Yeah. Zombie buck. That's just part of it. You gotta experience that every once in a while. It sucks, trust me. I hate that. More than anything, I hate that. I felt bad because it looked really like they're in a lot of pain. I'm gonna suffer, but they're, they have a will to survive. That's, all, that's the reason they can survive. Winters out here, and coyotes, and wolves, because they have a will to live. They're a lot tougher than everybody ever gives them credit. Yeah. I know, if I got shot, I would definitely You could shoot me in the hand, I'd lay down and <laughs> yeah. leave it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you made a great shot, there's nothing else you could have done, so it just happens. When you look at where that exit wound was, uh, I would take that exit wound on any animal, any time. 100% right? of the time. But to me, that was like the perfect exit wound. Good job, Ray. Beautiful animal. You got to experience a little everything, but the awesome thing was your first shot was perfect. I yeah. Mean, I, I don't know how he got up. Shabby. You told me all you wanted were big horns. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what a gorgeous antelope. The first, this is her entrance of the first one, right? Because he was faced right? Mm -hmm. That's the exit of the first one. I don't... Yeah, I don't see how that... Hey, good job. Good job, Ray. Thank you. I think that's diaphragm. Good What's work. What's falling out of it? Thank you. Good job. Like good job. Good job. Way to stick with it. That was great. He was over here laying down flat on his side, head down. Really? Spot I'm like, Dad, yeah, gets up again. <laughs> the, phantom, the phantom goat. He really mean, sold it the first time he died. <laughs> <laughs> he did, That's a big goat. Back pedal, like heart shot stuff. We were all like, oh, I'm guessing it just must have just went behind his heart. Yeah. That's his diaphragm muscle hanging out there, I think. Looks like it. Oh, one, two, three. Backs. <laughs> there you go. Lean into it. You got it. Okay, look at the truck. Think you can make it that far? The truck's just right there. I'll try. Oh, yeah. You can All do right. it. Got Get it. it. Get it. Come on, Get muscles. It. Oh my. Yeah. It's not that bad. Come on. Right. You got it. You're almost there. You're going to go back down and come back up? Awesome. Thank you. Dana does squats. Now watch how fast your dad can do it. <laughs> actually pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a whole animal, actually. Yeah. Uh-huh. Minus his guts. 80, 90 pounds. You have a pen, Adam? There's one. What a tough bugger, man. Look at all that. Holy, he's helping. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, skinned an animal hanging. I don't on my long ass. Just got the girl's antelope back to camp. Then we're gonna hang them, we're gonna eat some lunch, and then we're gonna skin them, get them in the cooler. All skinned out. Casey just finished skinning. Skinned, I'm gonna go grab the 210 Yeti and uh, just cut this thing up. I'm gonna quarter it out, get all the meat off it, put it in bags and put it in the Yeti. Cool her down. Flies are getting to it bad. I'd like to let it hang if we had a bag and big enough to keep these flies off, get a crust on there. Ice for the meat but, it's not bad. There she is. All cleaned up. Look at all this antelope meat. It's two antelope down, three more to go. It's about, uh, oh, I'd guess 5 p.m. I took my truck and the jumping jack and sprayed everything off at the pressure washer. Got the four wheeler unloaded, so taking care of chores today. Right now I'm gonna head up the mountain actually do my brother a favor and go glass for bucks for him. I texted him earlier and asked him if he wanted to go and his reply was, I'm not feeling it tonight. That kid works really hard. He's an electrician. He's going through the journeyman program and he is killing it. He has passed every single test. Uh, you know, every so often they, they do like schooling and they have to take a test and whatnot. He's passed every single test. I'm proud of the kid. He doesn't want to go hunt today. He's probably tired. I'm trying to 
put this up somewhere. Jeez. But like I said, I don't blame him for being tired and kind of being a little unmotivated. We haven't seen anything worth hunting. And right now I'm looking for my phone scope adapter. Bugle tube, tripod, monopod, game bag, exo backpack thing, SD cards, cup with a potato. It's no good. Well, that was a waste of time. I found it. This piece right here is what I need. My phone's already on. Phone scope. Phone case, which is this by the way. And I got a new one. It's time to go to the mountain, so I'll catch you guys on the hill. The one that was jacked up. Dude, right. he's cool. So the one that you're gonna see footage of while I'm okay. talking right now is a really cool freaky buggy. Tips way forward, kind of wide. Casey seems to like the freakier ones, so he's getting real wound up. He and Kyle are having this like, no you shoot, no you shoot, no you shoot, no you. So they're figuring that out right now, but uh, he's freaking really neat. He's got a really unique character. And with antelope hunting, the way I look at it, there's two ways you can look at it. You go for big or ugly. Either one of those is a win. This guy kind of falls in the middle. I think he's big and ugly, which is kind of like uh, our good buddy Uncle Randy Newberg. He likes the ugly ones. I think this guy would fit Randy Bill for sure. Look at, look at the pep in Casey's step right now. Is he shooter? You feel comfortable off, with that? Gal. He's really excited. Yeah, it's like super busy. It's great. Yes, it's awesome. I just saw a buck that got me really excited. Well, where we're camped at, there's a buck that's hanging out right by our camp, like 300 yards. And every time I see him, I'm like, I like that one. He's real wide, and he goes out forward. And Casey told me when he left, when we left, he said, "Oh, this pasture we're going to tonight. There's one like that, but just way bigger." We pull up to the gate. First thing we see is that one. I was like, "Yes, do that." I tried to get Cal to shoot it. <laughs> Cal got scared. <laughs> So I'm gonna go try to shoot. It was consistent though, so. Hey, nice buck, Casey. That's a sweet buck. Yeah. Look at, dude, yeah. look at little bonus. Oh, he's got a kicker. Uh, that first shot, I rushed it, but I felt just like he stopped mm. and I was on him. And, mm. 250, like. happened fast but man I just feel terrible like I had shot this rifle I shot a three inch group at 300 yards the day before we left and I was so confident and man it I shot and everything was right consistently like 10 inches right and it even got worse so he's dead now and uh by far the biggest animal I've ever killed and my daughter was here to experience with it so all in all pretty rad day so far and we still have two more tags. Cal's thinking about maybe, I don't know, killing one himself. What do you think? Well guys, I just got up to my glassing point. And uh, keep in mind, this is the area we hunted the first two days. It's one of my favorite spots to glass from. In the two days we were here, we saw like the same 18 different bucks. Just kept seeing them over and over. The first buck I glassed, first deer I glassed, is a new buck. He's a three point with back forks. It feels really good to uh, see something different. I kind of assumed that in the first two days we hadn't seen all the deer in here. It's just because they weren't moving much. It feels good to see a deer that I haven't seen yet. It really gives me confidence that there's a chance that there still is the big buck we're looking for. I honestly feel like he's in here. I'm just gonna stay behind the glass, get the phone scope out, get some footage of this guy, but that's good news, guys. We're making progress, so it's just a matter of time before we see a big buck stand up.
Probably the greatest day I've ever had of animal hunting. Honestly, these are the three biggest animal bucks I've ever seen killed. Me and me and the ladies got her done today. Just got my goat hung and scun and scun and skinned. I think that's the word. But what an absolute riot we had today. We looked over so many antelope, mule deer, like it's definitely uh, we're very blessed to be able to come out and do this out here in Wyoming with the Weatherby crew and with Cal from First Light. And the greatest thing is, killed three giants, have two more tags for tomorrow or Wednesday if we need it. But today was fun. And experiencing a day like that is, is really cool, but experiencing a day like that with your daughter and your best friends, uh, it's really grateful for what we do. And, and uh, the reason we're allowed to do what we do is because you guys, and thanks for following along thanks for watching hope we're hoping that uh, you guys have been entertained and you're learning some things along the way honestly from the whole hush crew thank you so very much for watching the videos liking them subscribing whatever uh, we're gonna cook some food cook some dinner some Roosevelt elk burgers sit by the camp chef fire ring and then go do it again tomorrow come with us thank you